Tonight, Sherry Ballard has spent five years searching for answers in her daughter Crystal Rogers' disappearance. Now she feels hopeful about getting those answers thanks to the FBI taking over the case. And she sat down one on one with Shane McAllister this afternoon to talk about the recent developments. Doug, Sherry tells us that she's known about the FBI taking over this case for quite some time, but she was asked not to say anything until they went public with that decision, which they did last week. Now she says it just feels re-energized, not only in the community, but also right there at home within her family. We were lucky enough to sit down with Sherry Ballard for some time this afternoon. We talked about everything over the last several weeks. We talked about the discovery of the human remains, FBI taking over the case, the search warrants and interviews, we also talked a bit about her family. When Crystal went missing, Tommy and Sherry Ballard took on raising Crystal's children. She said it's been difficult for them this past few weeks, but they're feeling good and hopeful as well. We also talked about what this news would mean to Tommy. And Sherry was emotional in her answer, understandably so, but she said she knows she is living his mission for him. I think he'd be very proud. The fact that he's not sitting here with me devastates me. I do this for him and her. And I watched that man. I watched him make it his life's mission to bring my daughter home. And how can I not follow up with that? You know, how can I not do that? I owe that to my husband and my daughter. Sherry told us she always stays completely focused on Crystal's case because she knows in her heart that answers in Crystal's case will eventually lead to answers in Tommy's case. And tonight on the night team, more of this emotional interview with Sherry Ballard, everything about the last two weeks, including what she thinks about the discovery of the human remains and what she hopes is coming next in the FBI investigation. Reporting live in Bardstown, I'm Shay McAllister.